Ab Fort Bonifacio, Taguig City. Signed, Agnes BST de Venadera, Solicitor General. VST de Venadera, Solicitor General. Thank you. Happy anniversary sa OSG. The OSG has an important role in achieving our vision of a strong republic that's ready for first world status in 20 years. In our vision of a first world country, we envision one where we will have dramatically reduced poverty, created a robust middle class, and have all the hallmarks of a modern society in strong, stable institutions. And among the strong, stable institutions we refer to is an effective government from the national to the local governments with a professional and dedicated civil service like the civil servants in the OSG. You not only help strengthen the civil service of our country by your own good work, but also by the important decisions that you work for in court. For instance, the success of the OSG on the constitutionality of the attrition law, which is decided on last month, should strengthen the civil service of the revenue agencies to neutralize smugglers and tax cheats and increase our revenues, another way of strengthening our republic. An effective government delivers basic services for everyone, the most important of which is an environment of peace and the rule of law and the necessary infrastructure. Among the services that you have helped to deliver for an environment of peace is your success, as mentioned earlier, in the writ of Amparo cases. Congratulations for that. You have also contributed to delivering, an, to delivering an environment of peace by your clarification of the MOA AD in Mindanao. And I think it's a good time on the occasion of uh, your anniversary to reiterate that no matter what the Supreme Court ultimately decides, in the light of the recent violent incidents committed by MILF lawless groups, the government will not sign the MOA. We are committed to doing everything possible to bring lasting peace to Mindanao and end 40 years of fighting that has killed more than 120,000 people. It is in the interest of all Filipinos, Muslims, and Christians to end the violence that has held that part of our country back and required an investment of hundreds of millions to support our military presence there. As I said to the UN General Assembly last week, we will pursue the peace process in Mindanao. The recent violence has reminded all of us that peace is the only option for our country and for the people of Mindanao. However, we have refocused all peace talks from one that is centered on dialogues with rebels to one of authentic dialogues with the communities, both Muslim and Christian. Those dialogues are directed at ending all forms of armed rebellion in the country.